In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I would recommend defending compression sets, whether it be split close or tight offset tight end or tight doubles in Madden 21. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you wanna get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. Now in this video, um, I have just released my big nickel over G defensive guide. And I have to tell you that it is gonna be the best defense in Madden 22. I think it's the best defense to close out Madden 21 season. So if you're looking for a really, really good defensive system, it's based out of the 4-2-5 that TCU runs. It's kind of similar teaching style that I take to this defense. And so if you want to learn exactly how you can send pressure right, left, through the A-gap, as well as how you can have some of the best coverage concepts, I'd encourage you to get that. Um, this is going to be the first defense that I'm going to be running in Madden 22. It's completely uh, everything that I've tested in the beta really points to this being the best defense. So if you haven't gotten it yet, there's going to be a link down in the description for you to be able to get it. Now, what I want to do today is I want to talk to you about how you can run match defense against compression. Most people don't think you can run match defense against compression, but the cover four quarters is really the most unique coverage in Madden 21. And uh, I think it's going to end up being the best coverage in Madden 22 just with the way that the zones are going to be playing. Uh, this is a really, really good defense. And so we're going to show you how to use this against compression. So the first thing that is important is you notice that I have the slot cornerback package on my big nickel over G. The other thing that's really important is that you make sure that you auto, your auto alignment is set to base align. You don't want to be running cover four quarters in a man alignment against compression. It won't work out really well for you. So we're gonna run with a base alignment. That's the biggest tip that I have uh, for how to do this. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply show blitz. Um, and then the big guy that we wanna use her is we wanna use her this quarter flat zone right here. So we're just gonna pinch our defensive line, crash our defensive line out so we can stop every run. And then we're going to purple zone the defensive end on the left side. And then on the right side, we're gonna put that defensive end into a um, bluff blitz so that he's our three red cook which frees us up now to take this square, um, this, this other linebacker that we have, and we can do whatever we want with him. Now, what I typically like to do is actually man him up onto the X receiver uh, in this. You could also man him up to the circle receiver. Okay, it's up to you how we do this, but you can man him up to whoever. You can put him in a deep middle third if you want to, if you're worried about like post routes, but this is a really solid defense for you know most of what people like to do out of this formation. So. First, I just want to kind of show how this defends a traditional flood. Obviously, your user is going to be in the middle of the field. I'm just going to spy my user, and I just want to show you kind of how everything um, plays out within this. So you'll see the match coverage, uh, and basically everything is completely bagged. Everything is completely bagged. Obviously, Gronkowski made the play of his career right there, but everything is bagged out of compression. This is huge for me. Um, compression really was the, the one formation that I felt like was giving match defense a big, big problem. And so you see here, watch how this thing just bags everything. Look at the match quarter. Look at the double coverage on the post route, inside, outside leverage, inside, outside leverage on this fade route. The, the corner route is completely bagged. The three wreck, the only route you can throw on this is really this route to the back. And if you wanna take that away, the way that you can do that, like if you're worried about that out of compression, the way that you could do that is simply just hard flat your defensive ends, just like this right here, and then just man up the slot. So the slot can be in, in man lock on a circle. And you'll see that if they run that same um, that same combination, we should get pretty decent coverage here. We might, the X receiver might get open, but let me just show you this. You'll see man lock. The outside quarter does his job and completely takes away the corner round. So that's an easy way. If they're if they're killing you in the flats from like a split close, tight offset tight end, they're not more they're not as likely to do that. But split close, they might be a little bit more likely to do that. Um, so that's a way that you can you know deal with that. Another uh, route combination that I want to go over is something like what we can see here from this Y out. Um, I think that Y out is one of the better plays in the game, and so I just want to go over you know kind of how this is going to look. So again, really simple coverage show, uh, but if you just watch, the corner route should be bagged. 
man the man assignment on circle is really the key to stopping everything and that's why i like to either man up the slot on him and man lock or to man up the uh the outside guy uh, or the the outside linebacker so you see that combination is completely taken away let's go over pay shot um and what we're going to do is we're just going to do like double ghost routes kind of a popular um kind of a popular setup here with the double crossers and basically what you should see is again we've got that man coverage on circle and then we've got this uh bluff blitz three rec so i just want you to watch how this defends the crossing routes um the tight end is the opening open crossing route of this the other one's not so as a user you just want to take away the tight end crosser and you're good you basically completely bag this out of tight offset tight end it's very similar the the side opposite so like that's the, the the weak side crosser is really what you're looking for so um you'll see right here if we were to leave like if we were to leave that three red hook and then we just manned up like that we'd probably get a little bit better of a response against this play so let me just show you this um you'll see see how they kind of just get confused they still play pretty well but the double crosser is really what get, gets it um if they were to run like a traditional flood of a crosser and what i mean by that is if they took circle and they put him on a crosser and then they took square and they put him on a streak and maybe they did a corner like something like this concept right here um this is what i'm getting at so like we're going to do decent against this and again remember your responsibility you're just looking for crossers that have maybe ran away or, or whatever so um you know maybe maybe we end up doing something like this and snap the ball. Just once you see the crosser, you see how the match coverage just, you know, basically sits on the crosser. Now again, that would be, you know, where we're going to help out at within the defense anyway. That, you know, again, that box from like the numbers, this 10 yard box right here, if you see anything kind of breaking loose, that's your primary responsibility as a user. We're obviously within quarters, you're going to be heavy to one side. So the heavy coverage that we're creating is, is rather uh, significant coverage to this backside here. So let's say they go to a concept like extract trail, uh, really not necessarily not necessary to do really anything major, but I just want you to watch how the match covers. So I'm in this box here. I see I can help and poach on this uh, this X crossing route. So the, the little triangle back route did good. Um, that's probably the, the Texas route stuff and the crossers. Those are like the two big things that you got to look out for. But anyways, that's pretty much how to defend compression. Honestly, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the biggest adjustment I think is to base align. I think base alignment and showing blitz out of this, what you get is you get these quarter flats that are not necessarily pressing, but they're also not so far back that they can't make a ball play on the ball and so you get this really nice coverage another little thing you could try out if you want to get risky against compression is i could man up circle just like this i could do the same adjustments the biggest difference is i'm going to put soft squats out on the field uh, and the reason this is really good is it's, it's still going to take away all the out routes and stuff it just it's a little bit more um the, it makes the quarters play a little bit better the inside quarter zones will match a little bit better but I would only do that if you're going to put zone drops on the field. And that's another way you could defend it. You could put your cloud flats at 30 yards on both sides. And then basically you're running quarters. And everything else is the same from a setup perspective. So uh, anyways, guys, that is how those two defenses together are really, really, really effective against the, um, against the tight doubles or the split close types of formations. You're going to have a lot of success with this. So if you want to learn the entire Big Nickel Over G defensive guide, we show you how to stop pretty much every meta formation in the game with this. And we also show you how to send pressure out of this look and still remain really good coverage uh, based. So if you want to get access to that entire defensive guide, you can get that down in the description for just 15 bucks. This will be the exact defense that I'm planning to run in Madden 22. So if you want to get a head start on preparation for the next year's game, I would recommend this defensive guide as your first purchase of the Madden 22 season.